have you watched Fool Me Once on Netflix? Because, yo, it is a mystery written by Harlan Coven, and it has me in a chokehold. But first, hey, uh, hey, if you're new, hi, if not, welcome back, babes. Just a heads up. In case you didn't read the title, there will be spoilers throughout the video. So if you haven't watched Fool Me Once yet, save this video, then come back. Then we can talk. Let's get into it. Here's the plot. Main character, Maya Stern, loses her husband, becomes a widow. So she thought. And this is when the multiple turning points begin. You have no clue who to trust, where to turn, who to turn to once you think that they're finally on to someone like they finally are going to capture who the murderer is the plot thickens it, it keeps getting thicker thicker death does seem to follow maya first it was her sister claire now it's her husband joe it kind of have you scratching your head like damn girl it's a great fictional take on a whodunit who doesn't love a whodunit? If you're into mysteries and crime and all those things, you will already have some sort of feeling on who truly did it. But it still is a great, great show. It's so much suspense that you want to keep watching it. Here are my thoughts. I do not typically care for shows that are based in the UK. No shade, just saying. However, I truly, truly enjoy this. Cast was entertaining and captivating, and I didn't even know who anyone is. The moral of the season has multiple meanings, and I love it. Hear me out. A woman is out at war. She did something she can't forgive herself for. Now she has to make things right. But you can't necessarily always make the past right right at the expense of risking her own life mind you she's a mother and with the help of someone who tried to completely sabotage and ruin her life she's able to gain what she was always looking for brilliant and that's when the story begins to unfold the morals in here are truly beautiful although it does fit the story very well I felt like the only cliche thing was that Maya's husband, Joe, came from a rich family. We already know the rich has plenty of secrets. They use their money in order to bury the secrets, pun intended. So yeah, fit very well. So I accept it. But some questions I had just being curious me are, would Joe's murders had intensified if he did not meet Maya? Essentially, he never used the gun until he married someone that was licensed to carry. Was Joe intentionally trying to frame his wife? Or he just never thought that he would get caught? Tommy Dark using her car. Ballistic test coming back for the same murders. Blood in the back seat. Either all an unfortunate coincidence or Joe was trying to set her up. Why was Corby following Maya around if he promised Claire that he wasn't going to expose anything? It was just that extra suspicious thought that I had that just always made me go, hmm, while I was watching the show. Rating for the entire season is an 8.5 out of 10. Let me explain. I am a stickler when it comes to filler pieces. They were horrible. But some were a bit annoying and I can do without. For example, Joe's sister Caroline. She annoyed me. She wasn't needed. The brother too. Just saying. The ending fell flat. I would prefer to see all those rich folks in jail. We, we needed to finish strong. And they always say the good shows tend to have horrible endings. Hear me out. Th this is how I would probably had ended the show. Their sentencing them literally in the courtroom maybe someone committed suicide maybe caroline because she didn't seem like she was a little wrapped too tight have the police barging into the house after they just witnessed the murder going live on stream you know you feel me just end with a bang then go to a white screen leave us in suspense for a second 
then we'll view Lily, which is Maya's daughter, you know, placing, placing a bouquet on Maya's grave. And the grave happens to be next to her sister, Claire. You know, something just beautiful. Bravo. Bravo. I can write for Netflix. Call me. Show was too good to end that way. 18 years is a major difference. I'm very, very particular, so none of them really had on, you know, the older makeup or the prosthetics or even, like, gray sprayed painted hair. Like, I take things literally, and to know that I binge-watched that show, I, I have high expectations. But that's the end of this review. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you watched it, how did what what would you rate it? I'm curious. I need to know. I want to know. This was so freaking good. Also, let me know how did you feel about the ending. Do you agree with me that it felt very flat? Thank you for watching once again. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And catch you guys next video.